Alright, so, how you all doing boys? Hope you're doing well today. Today we have finally gotten all the tickets from our logins. I haven't missed a single login, and we are here on, here we go, this banner here now. Usually they don't actually allow us to summon with gems on these banners, but this is a really good banner. I mean, especially for some free-to-play players, like if you get lucky, there's so many exclusive characters in here that you just wouldn't want to summon for, and that even I haven't summoned for, mainly because I didn't spend money on the game back then, but, you know, you could pull them for free, so... Yeah, we do have 10 multis here today. I mean, they also did give us some free multis if you spent gems on the barn banner oh, here. Yeah, um, every single multi there that I did was just a shaft. I got absolutely zero luck. So hopefully all that luck is coming into today's summons. Now, these will go fairly quick, especially if there's no animations. 10 multis can just fly by. I mean, in saying that as well, that is a first third of, you know, that is your first third of your typical uh, festival banner. So let's see here. Yeah. Look, if this happens, I mean, I'll actually check the rates right after this, because, yeah. Good old shaft to start off the video. Um, <clears throat> Oh, it's looking like this also fills up the event meter, and we do have our old school uh, SSR pity meter system, which I feel like we haven't seen in ages. Gosh, like, year one type of stuff there, but, um, here we go. What is it? Yeah, 3% SSR rates, so definitely not good, but, I mean, characters we're looking for, Derry of Purity, uh, Gold Wings Elaine, Definitely need some Halloween Goat, those mine's only 1-6, and other than that, I mean, Ethan would be nice, uh, Deanna would be nice, and then some are just like these other characters here that I haven't gotten, um, all of the, like, the New Year's characters, like all the Winter ones, and the Valentine's characters would also be really nice, I only have the Jericho, and I only have one of the little goddess girls, but looking a bit better, can we get a knife flash, please? I'd like to not skip every multi, but, you know... Yikes, what a shame. I mean, it's always stamina pots. I mean, we have plenty of stamina pots. And actually, as of recent on JP, they actually gave us more stuff to use our silver, gold, and platinum coins on. Um, In the kind of like Fort Solgris, the like hammer section where you can use your orbs and stuff, there's like a thing you can open up for gold keys or whichever one you choose. And each one has different rewards, but not particularly looking like something I'll use. The rewards just don't seem good enough, especially the platinum coin ones. Like, you just do not get good enough rewards for me to be spending. I think it's six platinum coins, which is absolutely insane. The gold one, I think it's 20 gold coins, and silver one, I think it's 30 or something like that, but getting the eye flash, besides that, this is looking like another pretty dead multi. I mean, I understand that these are free summons, but 3% is just not going. I mean, I can imagine we're going to get another shaft this multi, and we're going to get our guaranteed SSR, but... <clears throat> I mean, yeah, this banner is so, so nice, but... Definitely not something I'd recommend summoning with gems on. That's just, you save those for your festival banners and for, for when Ragnarok comes out, it's also another good idea, but gonna be skipping on ahead. Yeah, look at that. First five multis were all dead. That's halfway through our summons that quick, but here we go. We should get an animation on this one as well. I mean, Escanor would be pretty nice. Turn these summons right around for the second half, but <clears throat> Lost Vein, no, cruel sun, but you know, we like those animations, but no. Really excited. Actually, I did see this afternoon that I believe patch notes dropped, or at least there's been teasers on Twitter and stuff and on YouTube. Um, we will be getting the party Hawken Oslo this week or next reset, so that's coming up shortly. I don't know if I'll actually summon on those. You guys let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. I actually haven't, I wouldn't even have a clue what the unit does. I heard they were fairly mid, so not the craziest. I mean, I'd much rather say for Sigurd, but I would also like to have every unit. And, here we go. Looking to be fairly close to the beginning here, I believe. I could be completely wrong as well, but... There we go. A couple of SSRs. I mean, a couple of SRs as well, which could be nice. No fake outs, though. Gosh. That one looks so close to a fake out, but... Never mind. Oh, damn. Come on. Maybe I'm just... Maybe they're, they're starting to look keys more like SSRs, but... Here we go, yeah. Here we go, that's all our SRs on the way, and we should, not this one, but one of the next two. Gosh, it was right at the end. A terrible guessing where it was going to be. Um, yeah, no, content this week has been pretty good. I mean, I still haven't done any of the Kamara and Malik bosses. I mean, yeah, I did the ones to get the Bond costume, but after that, I haven't even looked at what teams I'll be using for, like, the showcase and stuff, but here we go, please. That's a 3-6. God damn! Oh yeah, why would I not expect it to be at the end? Actually, it's from the guaranteed. Um, come on, Gacha guys, can we get a turnaround for the second half, please? Arc's been absolutely terrible this past two weeks. 
Because she's barn banner and this free banner are just not visual. I don't even have like a character I can rotate or anything. <clears throat> Four more more to the left. God damn, this went by so, so fast. Yeah, no, content's looking pretty good. I just finished the Tower of Trials. That was yesterday. Um, by the time you're seeing this video, it was probably, probably a week ago. Uh, four or five days ago. I actually was fairly good and decided to, you know, get a couple of videos knocked out of the way. And these summons are absolutely terrible. I still as well haven't got a good run on the final boss, Derriere and Monspeed. I, I've almost bought out the entire shop. I bought everything in use, I believe. And it's just not going for me. I... Uh, there was one run that I was doing, I was paying very little attention to it, but like by the end of the run I realised and I was like, ooh, this could have actually been good, like if I, you know, I, it probably would have just been like another close call, but I believe we're on to our final two multis here, a lot of rambling and a lot of not good characters, um, there we go, another SSR, thank god, we at least got one, you know, not guaranteed unit in these summons, counter as well, it could be a double, you never know. But now that has been absolutely fun. I've had so many people as well like finish the shop and not gotten, you know, their perfect score, which I know I've said this in a previous video, but if that happens to me, you know, I'm fine with the top two, top three percent, and that doesn't really bother me. I'm not going for any crazy scores or anything. Here we go, let's see it. Come on, um okay, so only the one again, goddamn. This is gonna be right towards the end as well. Oh no, second in end, please. I think that's the blue dairy. I think, yeah, that is 100%. Let's go. Okay. Honestly, can leave these summons happy. I would have liked more than one unit, but no. Sweet Temptation Dairy is beyond good enough. Thank God. Um, I believe you could actually use her instead of the Valentine's units for, like, you know, um, getting those extra, like, cosmetics. I'm not too sure. I know I've bought the costumes for them or not, but, um, final multi. Is there anyone else would really like, um, Dupes and Halloween Gotha and probably just this Eastern would be really nice. I can save that another green uh, Demon Meliodas as well would be sick, especially for like the Belmoth raids and just to have him is a really cool character. Really fun to play and of course have Meliodas you argue built out. Long loading time. Ooh, okay. Hawk on the side of us, which means probably gonna be a Meliodas or Elizabeth. In all honesty, get the counter as well. Yeah. Looking to be a double. We really did turn around in these final two multis. Yeah, come on, let's see. Rainbow Tex as well would just be great, but... No, I mean... I'm keen to see if they'll actually drop any more. I don't think there's any more, like, actual, like... I wouldn't say free play, what's the word I'm looking for? More like just, uh... AI, like... I'm completely lost words, right? More... PvE content they'll be dropping this week, because I believe we're almost fully caught up, like... Um... Ooh, that's a lot of SRs. Could get a fake out. <clears throat> yeah, no, there's... Not really much I can think of. I mean, they uh, JP did just get the um, the hell difficulty for Final Boss Gotha, which I haven't really looked at personally. Um, I'm just waiting for one of these to change the rainbow. But <clears throat> yeah, besides that, maybe reruns on some like towers and stuff we might be missing, but like nothing super crazy, nothing. You no, know, like no nothing that we haven't had before. But oh. did I not say it? Did I not say? It? Green Demon Meliodas would be perfect to pull. And the second one? Okay, no, that's right. But goddamn. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm more than happy with how that summons ended. Got as many new characters in these free summons as I did in my barn banner. Goddamn. But anyways, that just about does it for today's summons. Hope you guys did as good or even better. Um, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.